Welcome to the second part of my video series on simple random sampling. So this part two, in part one of the video, I explained what simple random sampling is and how to implement it practically on the field. In this second part of the video, I will be bringing to us a work example on simple random sampling. An inventory was carried out in a locked over thick plantation whose dimension is 750 meters by 300 meters. The plantation was divided into square quarter hectare plots out of which 20 plots were randomly selected. The merchantable volumes in cubic meters measured on the 20 plots were as follows. And then you have the readings from 11.9 all through to 13.5. So let's look at what this uh, scenario is. We have a plantation area, I mean, a plantation that is 750 meters by 300 meters in size. That's the size of the entire plantation. And then this plantation was divided into plots of 0.25 hectares. That's a quarter, 0.25 is one quarter of an hectare. So 0.25 hectares, that's the size of each plot in this whole area. Now out of that, 20 plots were randomly selected. And after selecting the 20 plots, of course, measurements were taken in terms of diameter, height at various points and so on. And so volume uh, was computed for all the trees in the various plots. And so the summary, that's the addition of three volumes in each of the 20 plots is what we have on display there on the screen. So the question says, calculate the mean volume of trees per plot. That's mean volume of trees per plot. One, that's the first thing. The second thing, volume of trees per hectare and the total merchantable volume of trees in the entire plantation. So we want to calculate three sets of volumes here. The main volume per plot, that's the first one. Second one will be the volume per hectare. And then the third one will be volume for the entire plantation area. So that's the first part of the question. Second one says, we are also to calculate the 95% confidence limits for each estimate in A above. So for main volume of trees per plot, we'll calculate confidence limit for it. For volume of trees per hectare, we'll calculate confidence limit. And then volume for the entire area, we'll also calculate confidence limit. Assuming that the sampling was done without replacement. So those are the things we want to calculate. I want to see how to do the calculation now. So the first thing to calculate is the mean volume for the sample plots and let's see how it is so we have uh the formula there bar y that's uh, mean of y as equal to sigma y i over n where y i is the volume in the i sample plot so the volume per plot is represented as y and n is the number of sample plots so we have 20 sample plots, so n will be 20 in this case. So to implement that formula, it means we have to add up all the volumes for the 20 plots and then divide by 20. Of course, that's the mean, that's the average. And the answer is 13.2 cubic meters, 13.2 cubic meters. That's the answer. That's the mean volume per plot. Now, since each plot is one quarter of an hectare, that's 0.25 hectare. In other words, there are four of such plots in one hectare. So the volume of trees per hectare will be obtained by simply multiplying the mean volume per plot by four. So by y times four gives us 52.8, 52.8,
cubic meters per hectare. So this is the volume per hectare, per hectare. Don't forget that. Now, the next is to calculate the volume for the entire plantation. We are told that the entire plantation area is 750 meters by 300 meters. And that gives us a total of 225,000 square meters. If we are to convert that to hectares, it is 22.5 hectares. 22.5 hectares. That's what it is. Because don't forget, uh, one hectare is 100 meter by 100 meter. So in other words, one, one hectare is 10,000 square meters. So that's why we obtain the, that, that's how we obtain the 22.5 hectares. So that, this is the size of the entire plantation, 22.5 hectares. So if we already know that for each F per hectare, we have 52.8 cubic meters as the volume per hectare. So how, what will then be the volume in 22.5 hectares? We just multiply. So we multiply 52.8 by 22.5, and that gives us 1,188 cubic meters. So this is the volume for the entire plantation area. So that's how to solve that problem. It's very straightforward, very simple and straightforward. Now we are left with B, which is the confidence limit for each of those estimates. So to calculate confidence limits, we need to know the formula and the formula is right there on the screen. It is estimate plus or minus T into bracket standard error. That's T multiplied by standard error where t is the student's t value from the statistical table at n minus 1 degrees of freedom and at 0 0.05 level of significance. And uh, se is the standard error of estimate. Now, from the statistical table, we can obtain the student's t value at 19 degrees of freedom and 0 0.05 level of significance. And that, will, that is 1.729 from the statistical table, 1.729. Now the standard error, the formula for standard error is, as shown on our screen, the square root, of course, of uh, our variance over n, and then we have in bracket one minus small n over big n. Now, the s square y is the variance of the volumes from the sample plot. So we have to calculate variance. That's what we will put there. And then the value in bracket, I mean, the item in bracket is the finite population correction factor. And this is used only when sampling is without replacement. When sampling is without replacement, that's when we use this. If the sampling is with replacement, it means the population is infinite because as you sample, you replace, you sample, you replace, so that's infinite. And that one will not have this FPC, uh, this finite population correction factor. It won't have that. So, but in this particular example, we are told that sampling was done without replacement. So that's why we are having it here. So let's see how variance is calculated. Just general formula for calculating variance. You can see sigma y square minus sigma y into bracket square over n, everything all over n minus one. And uh, from the data we are given, all these have been calculated. And you can see that the answer, the final answer there is 16.36, 16.36. That is the variance of, uh, that's the variance, the sample variance. So let's see now, the next step is to put that value into our formula for standard error. And everything gives us, 0 0.7998 
cubic meters. Now, our small n, don't forget, is the number of sample plots selected. And then capital N is the total number of sampling units. And how did we get this, this 90? You know, the entire area is 22.5 hectares. That's the entire area. And our, the size of our sample plot is 50 meters by 50 meters. So how many 50 meters by 50 meters can we get in an area of 22.5 hectares? So when you do the calculation, it will give you 90. So that's how we got our capital N to be 90. So the final answer for the standard error of estimate for that, uh, for the mean volume per plot is 0 0.7998 cubic meters. So, so that's the value for the mean per quarter hectare plot. So if we have that value already for the quarter hectare plot, simply the standard error for the volume per hectare will just be that value times four because the size of each plot is quarter is one quarter of an hectare so when we multiply the standard error per mean plot by four it will give us 3.1992 cubic meters per hectare so this is the standard error now for the volume per hectare this is the standard error now for the entire area that's for the entire plantation the entire volume of trees. The standard error will be the standard error for the volume per hectare times the size of the area in hectares, which is 22.5. And that gives us a total of 71.98 cubic meters. So this is the standard error for the entire plantation area, 71.98 cubic meters. So the next is now to do our confidence limits. Don't forget, we calculated standard error because it is one of the items we need for calculating confidence interval or confidence limit. So look at the formula again. It's estimate plus or minus t. We have obtained our t from the statistical table to be 1.729. Then multiply by standard error. So for the volume per hectare, volume per hectare, the standard error we obtained was 3.1992. So we put that formula, I mean that value now into the formula for confidence interval. And it gives us 52.8, which is the volume per hectare, plus or minus T value, which is 1.729, and then multiplied by 3.1992. So that's uh, what we have. And this gives us uh, 52.8 plus or minus 5.53 cubic meters per hectare. So if you expand that plus minus, it is actually 47. So it's a range. So it means the value range from 47.27 cubic meters per hectare to 58.33 cubic meters per hectare. That's the entire range. So what does that range actually signify? It means that even though we have obtained our volume per hectare as 52.8, based on the 12, 20 sample plots that were used, we said the volume per hectare is 52.8. But you know, that's not the entire population. There were 90 plots all together in the entire area, out of which we selected just 20. And we got the average per hectare to be 52.8. Assuming we are to measure all the 90 plots, that's the entire population, what will be the value? Of course, we don't have it. But confidence interval gives us a range. So say, okay, even though we have obtained the uh even though we have obtained the volume the mean per hectare the volume per hectare to be 52.8 the range of the population mean assuming we sampled everything all together all the 90 plus 
and we find the average volume per hectare, it will be within the range of 47 and 58. So that's the level of confidence, that's the interval, the, the interval that the true population mean will be. Now, for the entire plantation, the confidence interval is, as usual again, the estimate, which is 1188, plus or minus, one. that's the T value here, is 1.729, and our standard error for the entire area is 71.98. So we multiply that out and it gives us 1188 plus or minus 124.45 cubic meters. And if we expand that, it gives us a range of 1063.55 cubic meters to 1312.45 cubic meters. So that's the final answer to the question. So that's the way we do our calculation. When you have gone to the field, uh, using simple random sampling, you have obtained your measurement, you come back, you do your computation to be able to obtain the volume per plot, I mean, mean volume per plot, volume per hectare, as well as volume for the entire plantation area. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, let's if you have questions or comments, please remember to drop them below. Thank you. See you in the next video.